Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in with us. This is uh, Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a continuation of the last lesson. The last time we named a range, or we set a range up with a temporary name just for the course of our macro, and then it goes away each time it is run. Um, today we're going to do something with that range. We're going to say for each, for every cell in that range, we're going to go through, and if it meets our criteria, which is going to be that it's not blank, like these three. If it meets our criteria, it's going to be entered into here, and then the next cell that meets our criteria will be entered here, and then the next cell that meets our criteria will be entered into the next empty cell along E, just randomly here. So let's get... Let's dive right in. Alt F11. Okay, here was our last lesson here. We're going to continue on with declaring my range as a range, because it is. And we're setting up my range, uh, a random variable name that we gave it, to be the range of A1 through C4. I'm going to take out the comma D5. Just A1 through C4, the gray area here. Okay, so... We're going to set that, and then we're going to say for each cell in my range, okay? And we're going to say next cell. We could say for each Tommy in my range, as long as we say next Tommy, or for each X in my range, next X. Okay, you see how we do that? This is a for each and a next so that's how the for each thing works. For each x in my range, in this case, each thing, each unit is a cell, okay? For each x in my range, we're going to say if x is not blank, then, and what we want to do then is we want to put it in E1. So how are we going to say that? How about cells um, with row? Uh, we're going to start with, let's use the variable y. I haven't gotten to that yet, but we'll backtrack here in a second. y, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals whatever is in cell x. Okay? And you may have to watch this a couple times, but you'll, you'll pick it up. Okay, end if. All right, that actually should do it. And we're going to say y equals 1. That's our starting point. Okay, and if this code is able to run, meaning we met the criteria, then obviously we're filling in this spot with a number. So then we need to have y increment 1. So y is going to be whatever y is plus 1. So it would be 2. It would be row 2 from then on. And then row 2 would prevail in this. Let's see what happens. We're going to hit F8, F8, F8. Y is going to be equal to 1. So we know that for each X in my range. So if I hit F8, X, the first X I'm hovering over it is blank. So, and X is not equal. Let's see. If X is not equal to blank, then. So it was blank. So it did not get to go there. I'll hit F8, F8, F8. F8. Okay. Oops, I skipped a little past it, but uh, we're on. Uh, looks like we're on this one right here. And cells was not x was not blank. So that location equals x, which is 45. Y is going to be y plus one if I hit F8. Now y is two, and that'll be coming coming in handy whenever we need to go to this row two on column five. Okay. And now we've met the criteria, so that's going to be equal to 3, 33, I'll hit F5 to complete this macro. And, whoops, let's take that out. And F5 just to really complete it. All right, so you see that uh, we took all the ones that were actually applicable in our range, and we shoved them in here. That's how we do that. So let's plug in a couple more things here. And how about, so now we have some different ones. 
All right, since y is going to be equal to 1, it's probably going to overwrite that. Let's see what happens. Let's hit F5. Bam! So it took all the non-blank cells and lined them up just like that. Now what if we wanted to have it start with E1, but we wanted it to go to the right? Let's see how we do that. So just for fun, we'll see how it goes the other way. Y is going to be equal to column 5 because it's now we're going to use Y to be the column and we'll say it's always going to be on row 1. So let's see what happens with that. I wonder if that would work if I just hit F5. Whoa, what do you know? It sure did. It went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it ended off. So thanks for tuning in and tune in next time. We're going to have some more exciting tips and tricks. Thank you.